we basically build barges that are over over 100 foot long hundreds of tons well, we have roughly 300 employees here i'd probably say 175 to 200 of them are welders we do submerged arc we do flux core welding um, every two days one hits the water here at bmp the FlexTech 350X is the 350 amp machine that accompanies the rest of the FlexTech platform. So we have a FlexTech 650, a FlexTech 500, and now we have the FlexTech 350X. The X is the indication that we have this new technology called Crosslink, which allows me to transmit voltage commands across my welding power cable. It was designed to be very simple, very reliable, but give you our characteristics that you prefer, which are produced by inverters. So these machines can be used in all sorts of application, inside, outside, they can be stored outside. They're designed to be just as reliable as that platform. Uh, the, the winter is, is really, it's, it's really tough. It, it gets brutal, you know, in the winter time. And we do get a hot summer. It's crazy hot in the summer and extremely cold in the winter. This, this building here is like an ice box in the winter and it's like a heat box in the summer. The, the machines take a they take a beating. We definitely rely on the the product to be able to stand up to all those conditions. I think that Lincoln does a great great job at providing us with that equipment. Crosslink technology is a communication protocol that exists between the power supply and the feeder. And that's going to solve three problems for our customers. One, it's going to make their job site safer. If operators don't need to be walking around the site, it's going to keep them in a safer position. Two, it's going to improve the quality of our customers. If they have the ability to adjust procedures at point of use, it means the operators are going to use the right settings all the time. And three is going to improve their productivity. If a person doesn't have to leave their work center, traverse across the job site, climb out of a, a hall, for instance, or climb down off a structure in order to go back to the machine and change the settings, it means they're going to be behind the arc more often. There is a lot of confined space. You know, a lot of out of position welds in, in our shop. We have the most of it. The hassle is we could be 100 feet away from our power source. Um, and then you have to climb a ladder and then down a ladder. So you gotta figure we're going inside the barge and coming back out. You know, you're losing a lot of time. There, there's pretty much a wire leading everywhere. There's probably three or four miles of wire here. You could literally be gone 30, 40 yards, if not better. And outside, you're even, you're even going more. You might be going 120, 140 feet to get to where you need to be. So having the um, controls right, right at your fingertips, right in your work area, that sets the bar right there. Just setting it up. If you're by yourself, you're probably at, at least a good 10, 12 minutes, you know, unless you got somebody you can holler at, you know, to change your machine, you know. And then you're gonna do the same thing for him too. You're gonna yell up there and adjust his machine. So in all the customers we worked with in order to test this type of protocol, we've been able to solve all their distance applications in regards to voltage control across hundreds of feet. We haven't encountered a situation yet where the technology can't accommodate the distance being used. You move a lot faster. Uh, we're able to meet higher demands for production. Lincoln is definitely a huge part of what we do here. And the, depth, the advances they've made in their technology has, has kept us competitive in, in this market. 